is NBC 10 News at 11. On tonight's NBC 10 Health Watch at 11. The misery of heartburn, that painful fire in your chest that often stops you from eating your favorite foods. Well, drugs help, but they really only mask the problem and they're not risk free. Well, now doctors say a new procedure is keeping acid where it belongs. No more coffee, chocolate, or orange juice. And a glass of red wine? Forget about it. Hi. Welcome to Jerry Covey's world. Just some of the lifestyle changes he was forced to make because of GERD, gastroesophageal reflux disease. Stomach acid flowing back into the food pipe, causing irritation. It torments millions. The reasons why it is so prevalent are really not known. Medications are very successful at controlling acid, but some, called proton pump inhibitors have been linked to serious side effects such as wrist fractures, infection, osteoporosis, and low magnesium. We are concerned about this um, and we continue to monitor the uh, data as it comes in. Lankanaw Hospital gastroenterologist Hi, Dr. Nice Bob Edamod says some sufferers are turning to a new procedure called TIF. About 80 percent of patients are finding complete symptom relief using this technique and that roughly the same number are getting off of their proton pump inhibitors. Under general anesthesia, a tube-like device is inserted through the mouth into the esophagus, as seen in this video provided by the company that makes the device. It tightens the lower esophageal sphincter, creating a more effective barrier against acid. This is the least invasive so far of finding a way of repairing that valve. It requires an overnight hospital stay, and according to the doctor, about two to three weeks of recovery. The recovery was a little little longer than I anticipated. Kofi had the procedure in January after suffering medication side effects. Others commenting on web forums agree that recovery was longer than expected, but Kofi says it was worth it. The results for me are, are outstanding. I'm very happy. I have no restrictions on anything I can eat. I have not had any episodes of any kind. Um, I don't have to sleep on a bed that's inclined anymore. Dr. Edamot says side effects are minor, but there is a low risk of bleeding or infection. It won't work on 20% of those who have it, but it is reversible. We are curing it. We don't know if it's curing it forever or curing it for a long period of time. Now, this is not for those who are very overweight. The doctor says most of the large insurance companies will cover the cost here. Now, in addition to Lankanaw, Temple University Hospital also offers the procedure. Also, you need to know the procedure. It's not covered by all health insurers, and it cannot be done on people who, as we said, are overweight. Tim? All right, Renee. Well, this